2021 is looking like an exciting year for Star Citizens. With the new roadmap, we've been given a high level insight on what new features we can expect this year. From iCache to server meshing, it appears that this year is a pivotal year for Star Citizens everywhere to finally experience the game we've all envisioned. Hacking is one of these features I find quite compelling. Hey guys, it's phase one. Today I'd like to discuss what I expect from this new feature set to arrive Q1 2021. I'll share some of my ideas which can enrich the player experience in regards to hacking. If you're new to this channel, please subscribe for more content like this and if there is anything in this video that you like, please do not hesitate to give this video a like. And without any further ado, let's get started. <laughs> The initial implementation of hacking coming in Star Citizen Alpha 3.13 is a big leap ahead as it will link to other gameplay loops, missions already in the game. What's most interesting about it is the fact that this mechanic may give us the bare bones look and feel of what we can expect from the data running career path. The Mercury Star Runner being the most popular ship in the game at the moment lots of star citizens will be interested in this career. The little information CIG has revealed about hacking is the fact that this initial implementation will be used in missions and locations. Hacking will allow us to access certain locations and areas previously not accessible. This incites the idea of the rewards we can obtain once we access these systems or areas. We can expect to find loot, unique items such as weapons, the possibilities are endless. To make a compelling gameplay loop, I believe it needs to have some depth, skill based and rewarding. What I expect when it comes to hacking in Q1 2021 and beyond is a two stage process. First is the breaching stage. This stage involves accessing the desired system or network either physically or wirelessly. Here, the player will be provided with a screen whereby they have to decrypt a code similar to the hacking mechanic in Cyberpunk 2077. In Cyberpunk 2077, you're tasked with breaking a code of sequential alphanumeric values. Once successful, you'll now have access to the second stage. In the second stage, the player will now have an opportunity to introduce a virus which will assist in data retrieval, access to restricted areas, and some sort of sabotage routine. Data retrieved will be the objective of a possible new mission set. To add depth to this loop, I like to have two ways of performing the two stages mentioned previously. The first is the GUI mode. This mode will be your traditional graphical user interface screen similar to the security terminals at Security Post Korea. This mode is more so for the beginners. With this mode, players would have access to perform all functions, but limited. The second mode would be the command line mode. With this mode, I like to have access to more options as it pertains to functions and routines. In command line, the player can possibly retrieve more data or obtain access to hidden areas. With this concept, there is an opportunity for hacking to be skill based. This will encourage players to hire others whom are known for hacking when embarking on the more dangerous and lucrative endeavors. Another idea is for CIG to use a Mobi glass as a platform that dictates where you can hack and what type of routines you can run, perhaps giving us the ability to upgrade them with things like new processors to help with processing speed. This will give players more to do. More customization is always great. So what do you expect this new hacking feature to be like? Let me know in the comments below. If you're new to this channel, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. If there's anything in this video that you like, make sure to leave a like as well. I will see you on the next one.